why should this not be a taboo subject? I had someone say to me, you did it for sexuality. Well, I think everyone is free to make their own choice and their own decision. And it doesn't matter what reason women are choosing it for, you know, whether it's for reconstruction because they want to look the same in their clothes after having breast cancer, or, you know, a lot of women, you know, sadly, a lot of women go to a plastic surgeon because maybe they had a few children and they breastfed and after pregnancy and nursing your breasts that just don't look the same and they want some added volume. A lot of times those women could have just gotten a lift and been very happy with their aesthetic results. But most times they're talked into breast implants because it's a much easier surgery for the surgeons to perform. But at the end of the day, whatever the reasons are that we got them, we deserved to have proper informed consent so that we can make an educated and informed decision. So for you, when you had a double mastectomy, how did it go? What was the conversation like with the surgeon after about reconstruction? I was just asked what type of reconstruction I wanted. I wasn't really given an option to not have reconstruction. The plastic surgeon that worked at my cancer center, you know, she mostly did reconstruction with breast implants and I wasn't interested in the, you know, there's other surgeries that use your natural tissue, but they cut up different parts of your body. And I just didn't want to go through such a large surgery in a, in a long recovery like that. But you know, it's very unfortunate in the breast cancer space. I hear a lot of breast cancer patients complain that they never really wanted reconstruction, but they're kind of talked into it as this is what you do after breast cancer. And you want to feel normal again. You want to feel like a woman again. We're going to make you feel whole again. And I'll tell you, I've never felt more broken in my life than when I had breast implants. So I think it's inappropriate to kind of use that terminology with patients. I think you should just present the options and let it play out from there. I think plastic surgeons really need to take the time to meet with patients and understand what is their, you know, lifestyle like? Are they into exercise and is range of motion important to them? Because I'm very active. I live in Arizona. We have beautiful weather. I like to go golfing and hiking and biking and water skiing, wakeboarding, snow skiing. And now that I've had three surgeries on my chest and my pectoral muscles cut up, I have, you know, mobility issues and I have range of motion issues. And I would have never signed up for that if I had known that's where I would end up. 